Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed his military will carry out a powerful operation in Rafah after civilians are allowed to leave. And according to Israel, Hamas have not sent new proposals for a ceasefire after Netanyahu rejected their initial demands. Yisin has more. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed Wednesday that the Israeli forces would carry out a powerful operation in Rafah after the many Gazans who have sought refuge in the southern Gaza city are allowed to leave. In his official telegram account, the Israeli leader said that his country will continue to fight until complete victory, adding that it will happen after the civilian population leaves the battle zones in Rafah. In a separate video message, Netanyahu said that the only way to get back the Israeli hostages would be through a combination of strong military pressure and firm negotiations, just as in the case of the 112 previously freed hostages. Meanwhile, the prime minister's office said Wednesday that no new proposals from Hamas for a ceasefire and hostage release deal were given. The office added that the prime minister insists that Israel will not yield to Hamas's outrageous demands and that a change in Hamas's positions will allow progress in negotiations. Reports say the Palestinian militant group is demanding an end to the war in exchange for the release of hostages, while Israel agrees only to a time-limited ceasefire. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and his Egyptian counterpart Abdel Fattah al-Sisi met in Cairo on Wednesday. Among some of the issues brought up in their talks was the ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas, with the Turkish leader saying the Palestinians were at the top of the agenda and that it was their priority to establish a ceasefire as soon as possible. Both leaders slammed Israel's conduct in the war in the Gaza Strip and called for a ceasefire. Erdogan, who is on his first visit to Cairo in over 10 years, vowed to work with Egypt for the recovery and reconstruction of Gaza in the medium term. Isn't it? Arirang News.